Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, it has been a while, it's been another month, but we're finally back again with Summit Dine Mod and we hit 500 subscribers! Yes, we did an amazing job. Thank you to every single person that watches my videos, likes, comments, subscribed. You all are amazing people and I thank you for it. And now we're going through every single faction in Edine and doing a little guide on basically what I think is the best way to play each faction. And we're starting off with Gondor, perhaps the most well-known faction in Middle-earth. One of my favourite factions for its diversity in playstyle, but also its well-rounded defensive uh, gameplay. And we are going to go against a Brutal Mordor, because why not? And I'm going to tell you how best to play as Gondor, in my opinion. So, to begin with, you want to... Well, in a castle start in particular, you want to go straight ahead and be yourself a marketplace... And a couple of blacksmiths. And a barracks. Those are the main buildings you want. Then on your settlements you want to be building ranger tents. Let's go down and build one here as well. And then also I'm going to build one more blacksmith here. And then oh, we've got ourselves a creep here. First power you want to get is Gondor architecture. You'll find out why soon enough. But as I said Gondor is a... Um, is mainly a defensive faction. You want to be going again, with your strengths, which is defense. You don't want to be pushing for um, improving your uh, weaknesses, which is pushing out against your opponents and then failing because Gondor doesn't have any real early game um, aggression. They're all about st strategy, um, formations, and just pure strength in perfection. And we're going to start with the first hero, Berrigond. So, why, why, why Baragon, you may be asking? Well, it is true he is a bit of a weak hero on his own. But his powers um, complement the defences of um, Gondor so much. He is the perfect starter hero, in my opinion. You may say, you may say oh, well, Pippin's the best because he's the scout hero. There is a good point to that. However, you are wrong. Um, Pippin, uh, Pippin is a good hero because of his ability to be a scout and super cheap. But Baragon's abilities complement the start of a gone of a um, game with Gondor so well. You should always pick him. First power summons a unit of elite troops to defend a building for a short period, fighting off all intruders. So you know when the AI decides to um, enter the enemy base or comes near a settlement, but you want to try and protect, just use Baragon. Um, have keep, keep one unit of Sondor soldiers coming down here. We need to take that outpost as well as settlement up there. This settlement, I don't know why I want to do with it yet. I do want to get Aragorn, but I feel like it might be better to wait for him later. Otherwise, I'm just um, wasting a build plot. Let's get some pikemen because we are against Mordor. And as I said, we have not got a good, um, we've not got a hero killer on our um, with Beragond. We have a army and building supporter. And we want to definitely build for that. And the reason why we built Ranger Tents, for those that don't know, they are now resource buildings. And you have to be level 3 to have the, um, the ability to co uh, create Rangers from these Ranger Tents. But that's what we're, pu that's what we're pushing for. We're pushing for an early tier uh, invasion with Rangers against a Mordor uh, um, attacking our base and such. Bergon, please hit the... Um, Ents, this is starting to hurt a bit. We want to definitely be building a basic outpost here. And that Ent is... Oh, he's gone straight into the... Oh, God. Okay, that's that's gone. That's gone. Let's just take those resources and build the four settlers' tools here. And then we'll move to kill that Ent. I believe the Ents drop treasure when they die in their spawn location. I might be wrong. I think I am wrong. Okay, we're going to build... Um, we're going to save up for a keep. Which we should now do with that extra bit of treasure. Yep. And I'm going to move up and try and get this back. Th this keep here is enough to defend the enemy... To defend against any uh, orc invasion. And Gondor architecture. You can protect your base if you need to. Also, if Baragon's close enough, he can use his ability. And his second ability... All nearby buildings suffer less damage from enemy infantry and cavalry and... Uh, suffer less damage from fire, monsters, and siege engines. 
So you know how Glowin likes to improve all siege engines and such against buildings? Well, Baragon's the opposite of that. He, he doesn't he doesn't like when people try to touch his buildings. Let's close the gates and build the four uh, the final of our final, the last of our six blacksmiths, so we can have the full 30% uh, decrease in uh, upgrade costs. Now, Keeps can get the extra reinforced garrison. I'll only get that once they start pushing out. But right now, I think it's a bit early for that. Let's find that Ent and skewer him on a pike. Or five. Or 15 in this case. Beautifully done. Now, yep, he does drop some treasure. We're going to take that treasure. I don't know how much it is, but I hope it's going to be a lot. 500. Ooh. Now, the border stronghold... I do not recommend ever building. Unless you're going for a Dogledore theme build, never build that stronghold. It is a massive waste of resources. I know some people are going to flame me and say, oh, but Dogledore's amazing. They've got the best cavalry. But do you need cavalry? The better question is, do you need it? Not, not, not that it is the best, but do you need it? If you don't need it, then the answer is quite clear. Don't go for it. Oh, and they're already building Dogledore on this side. I'm probably going to lose that soon. Um, to probably build a, a keep here too to protect against that. But for now, let us just move back down south where I intend to build a well to heal our troops and a... Uh, what's the other one? A, for, a siege works to build some siege equipment to clean out the enemy. So I can keep... We are... Um, Wounding our economy for a bit, but to be fair, with uh, one, two, three, four, five ranger tents, two townhouses, and six blacksmiths, we should have more than enough economy. And soon I'm going to start getting into workers' tools as well, so we're going to make even more money. I've invested so little into my in, uh, into my military that it's actually be a bit it actually be a bit hilarious if I lost. But um, rangers. Cost only 450 because we have five ranger tents. They cost 420 if I could get one more tent. But I'm not going to worry about if I can't get it or not. If I can't get it, can't get it. No big deal. 450 is good enough for a for our elite unit, which used to be decreased by the co um, decreasing cost by townhouses. Not anymore since the uh, change that they're now long, they, they only get reduced in cost by. Um, oh, we should fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. That's Gothmog and, um, I forget his name, Gorbag. Uh, build... Nothing right now. Focus on killing Gothmog. Focus all of your power into killing that, um, fat orc. That, um, unfortunate orc. Kill him off. There we go. We need, uh, Baragon to get one more level, and then all our units will heal passively when near a selected structure. We do need more infantry because we are losing our troops. We don't need, we don't ever need archers now. So you may be wondering, why build the archery range? Well, for one, we can't get fire arrows from anywhere other than the um, archery range. And um, let's get move Barragon back because he's about to die. Yeah, again, this um, tower here should be enough to keep them at bay. We want Faramir. And I want Forged Worker's Tools. Pushing straight for pure economy in Edain is actually really advantageous. I would always recommend going full, econ full econ. Because AI will always... In, in the late game, the AI will always find a way to beat you. But if you can beat the AI in the early game with strong economy, or if you can build up your economy to be strong enough to resist an AI invasion, then that's good for you. Plus, having settlers' tools means you're... Um, Built, your outer buildings get more um, defences, which is good. And oh, I don't want to build a second farm, keep even. But uh, might have to. Don't want to build, uh, rebuild yet. Rebuild at the last second, always at the very last second. Can build a lone tower to disrupt the archer line in the back here. And just before it breaks. Just before it would break. You can wait a little bit longer. Put that on there. And might as well do it now. Yeah, it is, it is, a, it is a full heal, so don't ever feel like you need to um, press that early. 
to get the heal. You'll always get a full heal. Oh, Baragon, no. Okay, but it's coming off a of sound. Good, 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 good. Faramir, I want you in melee because your ability, Proven Valor, when in melee form, um, is amazing. Should always be used because it gives you even more experience, more damage, more armor. Does, does basically everything better. Gives you everything better. I might even invest in the well. We might just go a second keep so we can defend in the north better. Here, they're not actually focusing us at all, which is good. If it was the other way around, then I would um, change it around. We're at a command point cap, which is fine. We can hit that. And we could just go to it back up again with the pantry. I mean, they are throwing stuff at us, but they're kind of just ignoring us in the north and going straight to the south. Um, so throw some more troops in. We can garrison these towers with archers, and I will. Faramir, Proven Valor. Rangers, quick, 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 quick. Yep, now accompany this area with towers. Well, t uh, accompany the tower with rangers. Uh, hmm. That tower's still up. <laughs> um, let's build that siege works. As I mentioned in the past, siege equipment in Edine is incredibly stupid, in my opinion. It's so strong, and you should always get it, because... If you don't, then you're, you're losing out on the ability to do massive damage to structures. You're missing out on the ability to um, completely abuse. Oh, they've got Castellans. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I might need to go straight for Tower Guards now. Oh, but we are killing them off. They're not as strong as they are in Age of the Ring. They're not as strong as the RNA to the ring, but we do need a heal. I should definitely um, keep my heroes back for a bit. Try and set that range of 10. All range should also use unexpected salvo. Oh, we draw them away. We drew them away. We drew them away. Could we save the structure? No. Ah. Oh, dear God. How much are they going to throw at us? I mean, this is a brutal. I should have expected this. Uh, let's get Denifor so we can get some cheaper infantry on the sly. Why can I not see them, but they could see me? That's, that's that, that kind of seems a bit seems a bit um, seems a bit dumb. Uh, oh, I might be able to save the structure. I might be able to save the structure at the last second. Yep, rebuild, bitch. Ah, uh -uh. take that. Find it. Get that proven valor. And then everyone gets healed here. Now, Denifor, if you ever feel like you are uh, you want to actually go for an aggressive build against a faction, you should always start with Denifor because he can make all your basic infantry cost near, next to nothing. They don't get experience, but all the basic troops, like got Honorian, uh, the Honorian units in particular, all are cheaper. Actually, make them do the ability. Yep, now half the cost... Half the time, but unfortunately don't get any experience. That's the only malice of that. They don't they don't get they don't they use formations, they can't get upgrades, that is it. They cut they're nothing more than basic. But to be fair, do you need anything else other than that? Do you actually? Honestly, I don't think you do. I think this is good enough. And I think a lot of people would agree with me that um a strong start with um, Gondor comes from just having Denifor. His ability to have vision, tax a building. Granted, I wouldn't recommend getting him first. If you're, if you're going for the full defense build that like I'm going for, go for him when you feel like you have the money to. Speaking of money for things, we should get Gandalf, but we need pantries first. Um, we have so much money and we have nothing to do it with. Uh, upgrade the archery range when we get fire arrows. Upgrade the barracks so we can get more other things. Is that a catapult I see? Oh, it is. No. And a troll. Faramir, run. Okay, Faramir, you can go into range mode now. You're strong enough, you can go straight into range mode. Um, six power points. Yeah, get Gandalf the white. Power Gandalf, oh, that we don't need to uh, 
worry too much about him. He'll be fine. But yeah, they've done absolutely nothing to hinder us in the north. It's really good. Let's build a couple of battering rams, see if we can get them to the front lines. Oh, Baragon, no. You're not a tank. You're not the tank. Let's build a signal fire here so we can get uh, Aragorn next. I think that's our next play. So we get all the good heroes. And from here, you just improvise. Quite, li li uh, quite, uh, the 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 quite literally, you just improvise from here. You have such a, such a strong start now that um, no matter what you do, you should never really um, lose unless you um, kind of just sit around doing nothing for half the game. Uh, keep him back. Keep Baragon back. Supplement from command group and keep him back. That was a battering ram. No thank you. We have Gandalf the White. You're in the service of the steward now. You have to do as you're told, Pelican Took. Get those battering rams in here. Oh. Raging Troll, now dead. Oh, no. Everyone keep back. Let's get Aragorn in here. Now is our time. Uh, we could build another button ram. Yeah, look at this. Because of because of the way I've um, seen how the AI plays, how they threw the, in their units into a certain fashion. Oh, that might not be good though. I can't kill that battering ram. Not about fire arrows. Oh well. As if we take out Doggledore, I can. Um... Oh yeah, that's a pain. That's the one annoying thing about siege equipment for me. That's it. That nothing seems to really stop them. Come, Denethor, destroy it. Aragorn, destroy it. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. But so is this fortress. I will not leave until this fortress is destroyed. Okay, we saved the fortress. But we are in trouble. Yeah, if I got fire arrows, I might have a better chance at this. But I didn't, so, um, oh dear. Oh, but Pippin, Pippin, no, Pippin, oh boy, yes. You're doing good work. You're doing the Lord's work. Now let's take this fortress over. And yeah, as I said, just slowly but surely keep pushing the enemy back. Landing saw that Nazgul. Gandalf is your uh, resident um, hero killer. Just, just putting that out there. He is your resident hero killer. Bit of well back here when Baragond isn't sufficient. All nearby allies become, uh, nearby allied buildings are becoming vulnerable. Okay. Skipping what you're doing. Uh, that's a mistake. That is a mistake. Run away. Uh, get fire arrows. Some more... Rangers. Oh, pardon me. Get some more Gondor soldiers. And yeah, look at this. Rangers just do amazing damage to everything. Except for siege equipment. Uh, Rohan answers is probably going to be what we use to win. So I should probably hold on for that. And Beragon, when he hits level 10, all his abilities are able to um, affect heroes. Which means that he be he turns from being just a building defender to being a fully fledged um, uh, um, aggro hero as well with his abilities. Because with the ability to buff heroes, there is very little you can't do. Oh, but this is not looking good. The rest is not enough. The rest is not enough. We always build a one townhouse or farm for 
What's his face? Uh, Rohan answers. Get that there. Fall back, Gandalf. Everyone fall back. It wasn't enough. There's no other way. Oh, no, Gandalf. It's fine. I can get him back immediately. Oh... I'll go on holding the line, bashing ram, just crush things. I think you can do that. I don't know. Don't care either. We still fine here? Yeah. Aragorn, though, needs to be careful. I can't protect that, though. Try and get those rangers in there. Get these rangers fire arrows. I must admit, I've gone a bit um, haphazard here, but I am really pushing far. I do not think I'll be able to push this far in with uh, what I've got. But hey, I managed to prove myself wrong. I was doing a pretty good job. Oh, that was a batting round. Oh, dear. But yeah, front lines for Gondor should just be troops that you throw in ready to die. While your archers, your ra the rangers are so good. I would never recommend getting Gondor archers. They don't ever seem to do enough. But having Gondor um, rangers is so vital. The rangers are so vital to victory. It is, it is so ridiculous how good they are. But again, let, let, let me clarify this. This is Gondor rangers. Not all archers. You know, um, <coughs> Lorien <coughs> needs a rework. Still, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think they. Are, I, I honestly, I don't know what to say um, much else about Gondor other than if you want to learn how to play the Adine mod, this is the faction you should play with. This is the faction you should learn the game with. Oh, Aragorn the second has fallen. Not Aragorn the first. Aragorn the second, because it was in his second form. I think that's how it works. Anyway, we've almost got Rohan. And all our backline is very strong. But we're also hit our command point cap, so we can't get Gandalf. Yeah, with Rohan, Rohan is basically the, the equivalent of having a siege equipment army. How is Pippin still alive? <laughs> How have I kept him alive? No. People of intelligence for this sort of mission. Quest. Fang. And he's now dead. He finally fell into darkness and I'm forgetting I can actually um, get my other heroes back. Oh, and Boromir. Um, what to say about Boromir? He is good. Don't get me wrong. He is good. I just don't always like to make him. Because um, if you accidentally lose him, that's it. Well, I mean, if you accidentally get him close to death, that's it, you, 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 you screwed it. You screwed the pooch. Because you, you, you know how Boromir goes. Um, oh, I've got 10 power points again. Oh my. Um, formations of Gondor. If you're more, if you're better at micromanaging your units than I am, you can go for this, and it, can, it does really well. This is a really good power. Personally, though, I think we're at a really good point. We can just go straight into the Army of the Dead. Summon some eagles, summon um, Ladraval, Melindor, and Gwaihir. Um, yeah, there's two that's there for um, flavour. Get some uh, trebuchets in here. They still have done nothing here. <laughs> oh, that's fun. But yeah, I must. I must admit, I was a little bit. I did get a little bit sloppy at the, in the middle bit there. But like, like I said, your economy is so well set. You don't need to worry about that. And look at this, Rohan, a, li a literal uh, tier ten summon has been able to um, destroy the fortress. He's about to destroy the great siege works. The enemy base is about to break entirely. Gandalf's returned. I mean, what else do you need?
Also, yeah, fire, um, all graded arrows um, do massive damage to structures and um, stuff. It's definitely not worth under underestimating that. Any other power worth going for? I guess barrage is fine. Um, I wouldn't typically go barrage against factions that don't have um, lots of uh, spammy troops. O o uh, otherwise, you can go that down this way if you feel like this, the, ga the game's going to go on for a little bit longer. Because the Grey Company is good, but Eagles are better. Gandalf the White is better if you can get if you get Gandalf. If you if you don't t intend to get Gandalf, I wouldn't recommend getting Gandalf the White. Obviously. But um, if you want Gandalf, you definitely should get Gandalf the White. Assistance in times of need. I, it's very hard to rate this power because it's gone on, gone, gone through so much refinement since the game first came out. Originally, it was um, spawn units become better. They get upgrades. Then you get more troops. Now it's you get more troops when um, you summon Thiefen soldiers. Which you can get from here. God, we have a lot. Okay, let's, let's just get a whole um, army. Let's get, let's get a whole army, please. Oh, someone just died. Moses there on the side. Rohan power still around. Doing really good damage. Now let's get Harbrass and we've got no other good powers. Army of the Dead is good. But um, in this scenario, where we've already killed off the enemy army and we're just like, destroying the base, we don't need... Uh, oh, God. I did not... I didn't mean to make that. They finally broke through because I wasn't paying attention. They finally broke through because I wasn't paying attention. No! Come on, that was, was so close to being destroyed. Come on. Come on now. You can do it. Oh, damn it. I didn't get it in time. Yeah. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, got this army here. Let's get that pushed in too. Uh, any other notes for um, Gondor in particular? Uh, if, you, if, um, if you want to do uh, better with uh, Gondor... Do what I did to begin with, but then just keep doing it. Just make sure to uh, keep going back and doing better stuff. Don't do. Don't mess up like I did. We might still technically fail here. Uh, I doubt it. I, we, we're not going to lose now. We've won. They cannot stop us now. We just need to destroy this base and then uh, destroy Minas Morgan and then we've won. Destroy that battering ram, then they don't have any staying power anymore. Oh, and yeah, keep recruiting um, troops when you can. If you ever um, hit your command point cap, make sure you have troops set up ready, because otherwise you'll forget about them. And when you see your cap drop, you won't be able to. Um, you won't be. Able, you won't remember. Um, overall, Faramir definitely a good hero to have because he boosts all your archers. But you need to have him in melee mode first for him, for, that, um, for those boosts to become more efficient. Um, Aragorn, you can go for him early on. I do not recommend it. He is a, he is definitely a late a, a late game uh, hero. Uh, up because otherwise the signal you get you get the signal fire, and you realise oh I've just got this ab ability that I have to wait for it to be any value. And I have done that before. Boromir, as I said, his powers are very good. But unfortunately, in this current meta of Edain, his powers are not quite what you need to be efficient in um, in the early game. In the late game, he's amazing. Late game, he's amazing. Has a summon. Has um, ways to become even stronger. Boosts everyone around him. Um, ev everyone is around him is um, shocked in terror. But in the early game, that is never, ever going to help you. Characters like Gandalf... Um, yeah, Gandalf's just Gandalf. You, you get him if you want him. Otherwise, don't bother because you are just going for a hero that um, can very easily be killed off. But again, you, you, if you want a hero killer, he's your man. He is your man 100% of the time. But main two heroes you should always get are Beragond and Faramir.
every single time. Boost your ranges, boost your defenses. You will never lose, guaranteed. And I didn't even buy the iron ore uh, upgrades. I didn't even buy any of the unit upgrades. I just needed uh, fire arrows with uh, rangers. But yeah, in the late game, you probably want to have tower guards as a front line with the shield wall formation, full upgrades and such. But honestly, if you play well enough in the early game and you let your economy just skyrocket, you'll have no problems with anything. And this is proof. This is against a brutal AI, by the way. This isn't against an easy, medium or hard. This is against the most difficult um, AI that the Dine mod has. I, oh, I must say, the main reason I'm much better now than I was probably about a month ago is because I farmed so much Death March against Age of the Ring, um, not on recording. I, may, I, did, must, 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 I must say, I've really stepped up my game a bit. So yeah, this is my guide for Gondor. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I know it's not as formal as I hoped. It, I did kind of rail off about um, here. I did kind of fall off. But um, uh, what can you do? I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time for the next faction guide, Rohan. Which I must say is a very interesting one. Ta-ta for now.